So, so I'm just gonna use a terracotta pot. Um, I was growing a lemon tree in here, and that lemon tree did not want to grow. So that was gonna be for my hour. Again, you want to make sure you're using a cactus mix, um, cactus and succulent mix, because you know, it's basically uh, the family that this will fall into. This is a succulent. it was leaning I am going to actually um, my root is gonna go this way instead of pointing straight down and hopefully mother nature will fix that um, but I do want to give it a chance to grow straight so I'm not gonna plant it the way that actually the root is telling me to plant it actually going to also plant a pup in here because I don't want to give all of these away.
just to stabilize it. I think that's lovely. And so sculptural. Um, I did say I was gonna put another one of these guys in here. But now I kind of feel like they deserve their own homes. So maybe I'll put one of these guys in. Now I have to find homes for all of these. Might have to rig something up with some chopsticks just so that he doesn't fall over. And it's been like eight videos, so you 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 know they change gender. I don't want any hate mail. Just so you know, your aloe does like to be a. Uh, just so you know, your aloe does like a. Just so you know, your aloe does like to be a little root bound. Um, so you don't have to repot these often. Um, and temperatures, it likes to live between 55 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and I mean, that's kind of all the information you need to know. It is a succulent. It does not like to be overwatered. Let it dry out in between waterings. That is crucial. It likes bright light and indirect light. A bright indirect light. It does not need to be, the sun does not need to be on top of it. Just because it's a desert plant does not mean that it likes that. It just means that it can survive um, those types of environments. about it I feel like one of my friends is gonna get a really nice of these guys should I put another one in there I think I should three I'll do three knowing that I have to take these out but also knowing that I have to find homes <laughs> these guys and I live in New York I just don't have the Spain it's kind of why I promised myself I wasn't gonna buy any more plants. And I'm gonna tell you something, it has been about, since I bought my last plant, let's say a good two or three months in 2022 where I did not buy a plant. And I'm very, very, 
very happy with myself because I don't have any space and I don't know why I keep buying these things. It's a real sickness. Plant people need to be locked up because you ain't doing right. Plant person. Um, and because it's spring, I'm doing this. Um, I am going to uh, fertilize it. I use a fish emulsion, which I think I told you guys before, um, and I dilute that. Aloe veras don't like to be fertilized a lot, so it's April. We're about to go into May. I'm gonna fertilize it now, and I'm gonna fertilize it once again in July, and that's it. Always dilute your fertilization. Um, all right, so I told you I had a few plants that came out of this one plant. And the bad thing is I didn't really anticipate that. <laughs> so I have to find a home for six plants. So I found two good homes. I'll take a picture. Chances are you're going to have to weight these down. Um, they do tend to get a little top heavy and floppy. Um, and you don't want them to snap. They are succulents and it seems like succulents like to be snapped. They just like to snap. They need their own show on oxygen. When aloe vera snap. Alright, so I'm just going to stick that. I love this floral Velcro. I use it all the time, and I never cut it right, but I think I did this time. Okay. Just so it has a little bit of support. Put a little stake in there. Okay. Um, and I use this. It works wonders. Again, I like it. I said it in a video before. I really like it a lot because aesthetically, pleasing. It's not a garish color. Just have one, two, three, <laughs> a million more to go. Um, I'm gonna line these up when I'm done and take a picture and let you see what they look like. All right. Wow. So that was a lot. <laughs> um, that was an intimidating aloe plant. It was literally a mother. It was the mother of all these babies. So. <laughs> I literally, and I'll show you pictures, um, you know, at the end of this video, I got from that one mother plant, I got th uh, three large plants and I had to put a baby in with each of those. Um, so that's about six. And then I have all these little baby ones here, right here. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'll think about it while I'm doing the rest of this. So. A lot of learnings. <clears throat> so, here's one of the plants, and I told you that that desiccated like leaf. Uh, we're just gonna cut that off. Um, all of them needed stakes because um, they were just growing any way they wanted to grow. Um, so, with clean shears, just cut that off. And when you're using these, you can cut them off um, at the base or anywhere along uh, the segment or the leaf 
um, to use for acne, psoriasis, all sorts of things. Google it. If you're from the Caribbean, ask your grandmother. Ask your grandmother. <laughs> good old Poland Spring canister that I keep because I don't like to waste. thinking I have one two three four five new agave plants that came from that more than five but these are the pups and I didn't really know what to do with them I was gonna take them to work and give them away and then I was like what if I could sell them and make some money and then I was like what if I give it to you guys you guys have been really really good to me in the past few weeks um, and my subscribership is going through the roof. <laughs> Actually, it's growing really incrementally, but I really, really appreciate you guys. So I think <coughs> if I can get five of you guys to refer someone, let me know. Leave some type of um, recognition that you did it in my comment section, and I will send you one of these pups. I'll pay for shipping and handling. That's how much I like you guys. So if you guys can just get one more person to come through, let me know you did it. First five people to do that, I'll give you one of these aloe plants, okay? You already know how to take care of it because I just told you. So you're like aloe experts. All you need is the plant. And for five of you, I will give it to you. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for coming. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you ring that bell so you can get up-to-date notices. And I will see you in a week. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you the plants in my home. Uh, this is the biggest, no, this is the second biggest one. And the one you'll see after this is the largest one. So it's in this new home. Has some acclimating to do since the leaves are going in all different types of directions. Um, but we're here for that. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in again. Make sure you like, leave a comment, say something to me. I want to answer some questions. Um, I love you guys for spending this time with me. And uh, I'll see you next week.